Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. Uh, in this video, I want to go over uh, fairly quickly the differences between the the Woods AI Paper and the SuperNote Nomad. Uh, this one is super fun. Uh, this one is super practical for note taking. That is the quick. 15 second overview, um, really nice for sketching and for writing. For drawing, it is not my top choice. And this one over here, the Nomad, this is my top choice for drawing, although I would like, they would do a little bit more work on the drawing app um, itself because there's a couple different things like panning around on the screen that is a bit difficult. All right, um, this one is an image from Pinterest, it's not mine, image from Pinterest, lovely art. Let's talk about these styluses and uh, some of the things that I really like about these two tablets. All right, this does not look like something I can edit. So we're going to go here, back to home, and to paper. Uh, you can sideload on both of these, you can sideload a variety of different um, Android apps. Uh, both of them are thin and very light. Both of them are well designed. Uh, both of them have very low latency drawing in the native app. Both of them have um, a, a really nice feel. Uh, the stylus on the screen feels amazing just like pencil on paper or for the super note what they say is it feels like a ballpoint pen on printer paper or paper and I would agree. Uh, it's lovely, absolutely wonderful. Uh, let me ex explain the two things quickly about this tablet that I like. Um, both of these have buttons on the stylus which are useful in certain things. Uh, what I don't like about the drawing experience on the AI paper, the VWoods AI paper, is there's no way to incrementally erase is erase completely, but draw, and you can draw with shaded values. Okay, so I can do all sorts of different grayscale uh, levels and can build up uh, images this way, and it's nice, uh, and it feels really good. However, if I make a mistake, then I'm set to erasing completely and then building it back up to the same level as before. Uh, in some situations this is okay, in other situations it's very frustrating and annoying and it wouldn't be the choice I would make in between the two. Uh, let's see, I think I have a couple of sketches here. Uh, really, it's, it's not, not bad at all, it feels really good the issue, like if you start with this and I never told you anything, you would probably be pretty happy uh, doing sketches and just going, that's a limitation. But having used uh, almost every drawing application in the universe, including those on Pluto, I really, really strongly prefer drawing on the SuperNote uh, to the point where I, I really don't even bother picking up um, the AI paper for that. Now, if I'm in a class and I'm actually just trying to research, I'm, I'm annotating a PDF or something like that, the ability to just hold down here the bottom and talk to AI and get a response is so, so useful. Someone tell me how to do this on the SuperNote because then I would just be set. Now, SuperNote uh, they have a new device out that is larger than this. It's the same size here as the uh, VWoods AI paper. And again, both of these machines I think are good machines. I, I like them both. Okay, let's look here at the drawing tools. Uh, note here, I'm going to choose an eraser. We're going to pinch in. The big complaint I have with the uh, SuperNote is that when you pinch in uh, you can get up to 150%, that's fine, but then if you try and pan, uh, showing off for the camera. I was trying to do this yesterday and it just would not, would not move. Okay, there we go. 
this is uh, doing much better than normal. Uh, usually it just simply won't. I can spend a minute or two doing gestures on the screen and it will not work. And I don't know what makes it work or not work. Okay, so this image here, uh, this is two layers. I have one layer that's the grayscale background and the other one that is the line work. Uh, let me show you some of the other sketches. Uh, this is from, uh, this is a rendition from, uh, I can't remember the, the artist's name, but it's uh, What Do You Do With a Problem? Um, the artist, I, I absolutely love her work. It's wonderful. You can see how fun it is drawing on here. You can do such beautiful detail. Uh, they say it's 16 levels of grayscale. Um, but of course you can blend and overlap and get some nicer things. Okay, we have the house. Here's a robot beetle with a little guy on the top. And let's go here, robot punk. Uh, a lot of these are sketches I did, and they are um, based off of uh, some work on Pinterest and different artists. And so I'll use them as a reference, and I'll, and I'll do my black and white sketchy version, which I really like. I would love to be better at just drawing without looking at anything, but uh, it's not something I'm especially great at at the moment. All right, let's see. Is there any other pictures here? There's a couple. Yeah, all right, so that's basically it. Uh, I'm gonna show you just a little bit of the sketching here on this one. Uh, what I like doing, I like using the eraser and switching to it. There is a, an eraser button on the stylus, but it's actually quite difficult to press and hold, so I tend to just switch to the eraser you can see here. Uh, and then I have these different ones set to different levels of grayscale. So once you have a pen selected, you can choose what level of gray it is. And I have these set to like uh, basically a really light off-white, uh, a white and then black. It really is it's so nice. Uh, I don't think there's any tilt response on this one specifically, uh, but it's very good. And you can see a little bit here. This is the line work layer. So you're not going to see, um, or this is uh, the line work is over the top. All right, so my little synopsis here, if you are sketching and you're going around and you're wanting to draw in a bunch of different places, then I recommend the Supernote. This size is perfect. It fits in a little bag that I carry with me, and I um, really like this size. Uh, I think I will be getting the AX52, AX25, A5X2, that's it, uh, sent to me sometime soon, and we'll be reviewing that. Uh, the AI paper from VWoods. I think this is great if you want a uh, e-ink tablet for uh, taking notes primarily and then and and doing research and looking stuff up, schoolwork and stuff, and you want to also be able to sketch, I would choose this, the VWoods AI paper. I have links in the description to both of these devices if you're interested in one or the other. Please use those links. They may or may not benefit me I don't know, but um, try and use those ones anyway, and I'll try and get those set up correctly. All right, thank you guys for watching. Uh, in the future, I plan on having a couple uh, tutorials on how to draw on the um, Nomad. It's a great device. Super Note Nomad. 
Yeah. Is it weird that I'm upset that it's working on video but not working the rest of the time? No, not weird. All right, until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.